why Giovanna? Why Giovanna? How do I how do I feel about Milia in general and then Milia plus Giovanna? So I can only speak for my region. I can't speak for other regions. I can't speak for EU. I can't speak for LATAM. I can basically speak for like North America, like US, Canada. So one, people continuously get tilted. So this is why, but I keep saying it and you have to hold it. I believe that all the characters are good in this game, but it's just that they're better characters. I don't call a character bad unless I feel like they're literally like lacking, like super, super lacking stuff. Milia in particular, I think she has the tools to basically win almost every matchup, but she doesn't get return of stuff. And that's where her struggle comes from in a lot of matchups. A lot, a lot of matchups are you have to use tools that don't lead into high returns. So risk return is not your favorite very often. Some things that people are talking about, about like how she can't like continue to do mix multiple times in a row, blah, blah, blah. I think most of these were solved to the best of uh, her ability and with what we have. I, I'm not, I think there's still probably a little bit more, but I don't know how much, how much more can be pushed besides more matchup development, right? There's a couple things about Strive and this is where I, I will definitely shake Boomer's hands, right? So one, it is way easier to learn a new character in Strive than Exert. Uh, at the end of Exert, like I think right around when Dragon Ball came out, I was learning Johnny and I played Johnny for two months and I, I thought I was still around three or four months away from being able to use him in tournament where I played Axel for about three weeks in this game and I used him at Frosty Faustings. Yeah, so was he like super good? No, but like he was tournament ready for sure. Like it took K7, like I, I lost to K7. It could have been like a 2-2 type of set, right? Like if it was another Leo, I probably would have just won and like moved on. But this is basically unheard of in Exert, like someone doing that that quickly with a new character. So because of this, our like US Canada meta has definitely centered around a few characters, right? Nago is like the main villain for a lot of people, but there's also Leo, also Happy Chaos, and there's Ram. It's probably like these four mainly. In the highest level in North America, there's representatives for basically every character, but I would say these are the main four you have to worry about. Now, Milia, basically loses to all four of these characters. <laughs> really loses to every single one of these characters. But I think Nago is probably the most reasonable where like Leo is like p pain. Ram's not too painful. And HC, I actually don't know like how much pain. I think it's like I, but it's not like I, you know what I mean? That being said, why Geo and not like HC or Ram, especially if you think about like how difficult this character is to pick up. A couple of reasons. One, trying to future proof myself. I would be shocked if they nerfed Milia, frankly. So I'm not really worried about them nerfing Milia. But even though these characters are easy, like let's say these two specifically, right? I actually think Ram is not like super easy. Let's say these two are like super easy characters, right? Even if I learn these characters really fast, I'm able to perform with them. They could, not saying they would, because you know, Arx is bouncing, but they could get shot. Out of all of them, I want to say that this guy's neutral will get shot, wink, wink, a little bit. Also, he takes some effort to learn, even though I think his game plan is really straightforward. The second layer of the top tiers in this game is just boring. <laughs> They're super boring. I usually would switch to a top tier that is at least interesting. Like, I don't have to like them, but at least interesting, right? Like, for example, I played a, a lot of people point at me for playing Kokonoi, which is true, but I picked Valkenhayn first when I played Kohaku, for example, or even right now in Ultimax, I'm playing uh, Yukari, Shadow Yukari, right? So it's not that I'm not willing to switch to top tiers. I just think these characters are just boring. So I had to make some type of compromise. So Geo, I think Geo is kind of future proof. The only issue is that she performs really well in Japan. So they might be like, oh, these mids are too good. I had a feeling that they kind of balanced Dragon Ball around Japan for a while. If that's the case, like that's kind of a worry, but like she's good, but she's reasonably fair. She just doesn't lose to anybody really. And from here, it's just thinking about what matchups I'm gonna use her for. You might be wondering, what about Durag? And he he must stay for Potemkin. He must he must stay for Potemkin. He might also stay for Leo. I don't know. I I've heard very mixed things about Geo Leo. So right now, what I'm gonna be doing is like continuing to practice Milia in all matchups, but also practice Geo in all matchups. Just try to get like. Just try to get like a high match count because she's less of a lab character than Milia straight up. When I say a lab character, I mean like labbing setups and like researching matchup stuff. Like I feel like with her, I have to play a lot and get used to converting a lot, that type of thing and get like the mids dispenser instinct. Also, I think she's pretty fun. I do legitimately think she's a very fun character. She fits my play style, which is nice. So all these things probably led me to picking her. At the moment, even though this might change, at the moment, she's not so common in North America tournaments. So I think that's kind of a big deal. At 
at this point, I've played many characters in this game. I played Testament, Biken, uh, Millie, of course, Faust, Durag, Soul, Kyle, uh, Zato, Geo, Gold Lewis, Happy Chaos. I played many, 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 many characters in this game. Uh, there's some other SMIS characters that I think would be worth playing, like Zato, for example. I played Zato in November. My only mistake was just not sticking with him, basically. I just decided to just like not put so much time into it. At that point, I was only looking for a character to just be heavies, where now I'm looking for something to just balance my personal matchup spread for tournaments. The next season, if it comes down to it, I think I'll try to be a little bit faster picking another character if I have to, or trying to pick a character that seemingly has no flaws. I will say, looking at season two, I think people were right on Ram, but I think people slept on Kyle a little bit, people slept on Zato, and there a couple other characters came up, like Jackal came up some. Every patch, people said Chip is shot, but he's always still here. So we'll see. But that's kind of what I'm gonna be going with. Assuming there's no season two before Evo, I will do Milia Geo and then the very rare Durag. So that's kind of uh, where I'm at.